Hello, everyone, and welcome to our midweek devotion, Tuesday, October 20th. Pastor Haugley with you from Faith Lutheran Church, Fond du Lac, Wisconsin. By way of announcement this week, just a reminder that our quarterly voters meeting will be held on Monday evening, October 26th at 6.30 in the evening in the commons area. Imitation, it is said, has been one of the greatest forms of flattery. If a child mimics or imitates that of a parent, it can certainly bring a, a warm feeling to that parent's heart that as the child watches them, that they are learning and growing by their godly example. Sometimes it is that co-workers will imitate one another in their work ethic and in doing so bring flattery to their fellow workers. When it comes to our lives as God's children, the Apostle Paul in his letter to the Philippians also speaks about imitation. It isn't an imitation that follows after a human being but it is the imitation that reflects the spirit of Christ Jesus. Christ Jesus, who understood what it meant to be a servant, as he willingly submitted himself to the will of his heavenly Father, knowing that that submission was, according to God's perfect plan, a plan that was necessary to save sinners. And so as the Apostle Paul writes these words, he encourages God's people to imitate that attitude of Christ, that attitude of Christ that is willing to serve out of love, serve one another in our families, serve one another in our Christian congregation, serve one another in our communities. And the Bible makes it very clear. The motive for that service is God's love for us. John 1 John 4.19 reminds us, we love because he first loved us. And so as we turn our thoughts to Paul's words to the Philippians, we read from Philippians chapter 2, beginning with verse 5. Your attitude should be the same as that of Christ Jesus, who, being in very nature God, did not consider equality with God something to be grasped, but made himself nothing, taking the very nature of a servant, being made in human likeness, and being found in appearance as a man. He humbled himself and became obedient to death, even death on a cross. Therefore God exalted him to the highest place and gave him the name that is above every name, that at the name of Jesus every knee should bow in heaven and on earth and under the earth, and every tongue confess that Jesus Christ is Lord to the glory of God the Father. We pray. Heavenly Father, you sent your one and only Son to come into this world to do what we could never do, to put himself under your holy law and to live a perfect life, to submit himself to your holy will of saving human race. Heavenly Father, we thank and praise you for such great love, and we ask that you would lead in us such a heart to serve you as our only God and Savior with that very same nature of, of Christ, humbling ourselves to be your servants in ways that bring glory to your holy name. Lord, as we serve you, lead each of us to have a greater appreciation of the love that you have for us in the giving of your Son, our Savior. We pray this in his holy name. Amen. Have a great day in the Lord, everyone. We'll see you soon.